been about, uh, I guess, three months since I put up a couple of videos showing the progress I was making on renovating a, Curti a Curtis hardtop. A uh, used one, obviously, that I purchased uh, for my John Deere 425. And um, I was st I'd stripped it down and I was sort of, you know, getting out the rust and painting and everything. And I know a few people wondering if I was going to put up a final video showing the uh, completed hardtop. Well, yeah, there's been a long delay, unfortunately. And uh, three months on, we've already got snow. We've already cleared about two feet of snow here. So I've already been using the tractor. And uh, I'm very happy to at last be putting the, uh, the hardtop on because I think it's going to be very useful. Anyway, uh, the, uh, all the painting was done. I ended up doing, oh, I lost count of how many coats of paint I put on the, uh, on the hardtop. Um, probably eight or ten coats. I just, you know, I, I had plenty of time. I took my time. I let them harden. I kept on adding coats. I figured, well, you know what? Uh, I don't want to, you know, uh, do all this and then have rust set in very quickly. So uh, Rust-Oleum Green, uh, John Deere Green is the paint I was using. Um, and on the top, which I'll show you in a second, actually, here's the top, um, which I figured was uh, very vulnerable. It was all, it was the most uh, weather-worn part of the hardtop anyway. It was very rusted up. Um, so I ended up, as well as putting lots of spray coats on there, I ended up doing some uh, hand coating it as well. I, I figured I'd get some really thick coats of uh, hand uh, brushed uh, rust-oleum on there. On this top also, um, there was some uh, stress uh, damage on here. There were splits in the steel here and here from vibration, I guess. So I ended up using a lot of fiberglass and resin, uh, fiberglass sheeting and resin there to reinforce that. The previous owner had put some kind of an angle line bar across there, which I, I wanted to uh, I wanted to do away with that. So um, I, hopefully the, the fiberglass will hold up here. And I also created four um, acoustic panels made out of styrofoam, thin plywood and fabric, which I then also uh, sprayed uh, green they look a bit strange from this angle but I, I think they'll help with the insulation of sound and hopefully some um, some warmth as well when i'm using the uh the tractor uh here's the uh the glass panel that came out well as well the main glass front panel so um i'm underway now with the uh with the fitting of the hardtop um and i'm I need a pair of hands. I'm waiting for a buddy to come give me a hand. He was supposed to be here this morning, but unfortunately I ran into a problem and I had to tell him to hold off because uh, one of those things that you never can be uh, predict when you're doing a job like this. Um, these two mounting plates at the front, this one went on okay. They're using two bolts and bolt holes that uh, uh, where there are um, mounting plates underneath there, uh, uh, hanging hangers, I think they're called uh, by John Deere. And, um, but on this one, one of those bolts was well seized and it's right by the hydraulics and it was right by some uh, harnessing on the other side so I couldn't put heat on it. I was working on that for hours and hours and just ended up having to use a lot of uh, PB blaster penetrating fluid. Eventually it gave away with a big breaker bar on it. But uh, I broke a couple of tools trying to get it off. I mean, that's how bad it was, but it's on there now. So um, when my buddy eventually can come, it may be tomorrow, we can uh, mount the front uprights to the, to the glass main glass panel and then put the roof on and then I can finish off the rest by myself. I put a lot of rubber underneath here because I don't want to damage. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking it off if at all, but if I do take it off, I don't want to have damage underneath there. So I use a lot of rubber insulation underneath there. And I even put some sort of, uh, I use some uh, heavy uh, duct tape to sandwich between these joints here as well. Um, but uh, anyway, so far so good. I must give a call out to Curtis, the cab company. Um, they probably haven't made this hardtop for at least 15, maybe 20 years. I, I sent an email to the company uh, saying what I was doing and wondering if they had a copy of the original fitting instructions because I thought it would be helpful. And within one hour, a gentleman called John, I think it was John Schuler, uh, had gone into their archives, created a PDF for me and sent it to me. So that's, that's great. Uh, that's, that's what you call product support. I thought it was very nice of him. 
So um, I have these nice fitting instructions here that were originally uh, provided with these. Fortunately, my uh, buddy was able to come yesterday and we managed to get the front panel on with the, uh, the front uprights, the two uh, side window screens, all of which had to be done with two people. It really is a two person job and then got the roof on. Now, there are lots of other nuts and bolts that I'm still fitting. Um, and I have to tell you, it's not easy. Dismantling this proved to be quite uh, difficult at times because of the tightness of where you've got to get into the nuts and bolts. And uh, you know, putting new bolts in is, and uh, assembling it is no, uh, no different. But it's gradually coming together. I've actually just run out of nuts and bolts. I thought I bought more than enough, but um, I have to go buy some more. I get my nuts and bolts by the pound from Tractor Supply, the best place for this kind of thing in terms of value and um but it's looking good i mean i'm pleased with how it's fitted it's we haven't had any real difficulties um obviously i've got to put the rubbers on around the doorways and uh, fit the doors i just fitted the the wiper motor on the front there um the heater will eventually go over there uh and then there's a a wiring you know power switch panel that's console that's going to go in at some point um the back here is all soft it there, there are uh, poppers that go on here um but i'm thinking i might uh, not do that i might actually put a, a piece of uh, hard hard um plexiglass a uh, clear plexiglass across here the, down, so the whole back window and then do something solid on the uh, on the lower portion um, and obviously allowing for the gas cap there um, but I'll see how we how that goes when I get to it but it's I'm making good progress here um, it is work though I mean it takes time um, and I would uh, you know anybody that's doing this you just got to take your time and it's like everything else so the instructions do help um, but you still have to work certain things out uh, but anyway so far so good so uh, most of the work is done now. Um, I have the doors on, as you can see. I'm still doing some final adjustments. Each one of those bolts has a certain amount of adjustment that you can take up. So getting the doors right, where, you know, you're moving the, the top, you're moving the pillars. Um, there's a lot of adjustment involved, but um, I think I'm more or less done this door. It's pretty square and true on there. And I now have to put the rubber on, the rubber around the inside, the, the seal. Uh, the other door still needs a little bit more adjustment. But um, everything's pretty much nailed down now. As for the back, as I mentioned, I'm probably going to do a different solution from the soft, uh, the soft um, panel at the back here and uh, check out some uh, heavy duty plexiglass and make a proper sort of permanent uh, glass window at the back there. I'll make that in another video, but um, yeah, I've, I've got a bit more time to spend on here, but uh, by and large it's done. I'm pretty pleased with it. I have to say, one thing that impresses me is the amount of room inside here. Um, I thought it might be a little claustrophobic, um, but once you're sitting in there, visibility is fantastic. Um, and, and you don't feel at all cramped. You've got plenty of room and easy in and out as well, which um, really is a pleasant surprise. So I'm pleased it's come out well. It looks pretty good. Uh, there are certain blemishes that uh, I can I know about that I you know, but it's it's so it's not perfect, but it's very very good and it'll serve me well I believe. So um, that's the end of the the cab uh, renovation story. If you like my video, please give me a like, um, and if you enjoy my videos and find them helpful, please subscribe. I've got quite a few up there. There's about forty I think. Uh, so anyway, thank you for looking and uh, have a great day.